So welcome back to episode two of my Porsche Cayman S. As you would have seen from the previous video, I purchased this Porsche Cayman from Copart Auctions. Category and car with right hand damage and interior airbags have been deployed. As you saw in the last video, the factory was completely dead on this car. Um, I have since tried to charge it, but it's not having it, it's knackered. Um, so I have gone and got a new battery. So let's replace that now. So out with the old, in with the new one. Short person problem uh, to get to the battery. With it up on the stands, I'm definitely gonna need my little stool. I can't find the old. <laughs> <laughs> So I did just turn it over briefly, um, just to make sure it wasn't seized or anything like that. It did fire, um, I'm not gonna lie, it didn't sound the healthiest. I turned it off just at that point, as I don't know the correct um, oil level right now, and also coolant wise, we've got none in there. So I will do oil and filter change once we get the new radiator system in um, and bleed the coolant system at the same time, just so we know where we are with our levels. Next up, I'm gonna tackle the headlight. I'm going to use a little breaker bar and a bit of brute force, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but a bit of panel bending and then try and get to that latch mechanism on the headlight just to try and release the headlight assembly and get it out. So that is the headlight out. A little bit of bend in here and there, started all the way around, and then finally was able to get onto the locking latch mechanism. Very clever system, simple, but yeah, nicely done Porsche, but that's that done. So now that the headlight's out, I'm gonna try and get this wing off next. So having a quick look round now that the line is out of the way, it looks to me like there's a little bolt up underneath here that needs to be removed, just up there, um, which holds the wing on the bracket. So I will take this bit off and I'm guessing it's just up underneath here that I need to remove. Also you can see I have the washer bottle um, reservoir in here. So I'm thinking it'll just be off wiggling that out the way and securing out the way. And then there must be a couple of bolts up behind here within this wing as well. sad times I've just dropped the phone with the microphone attachment to it and I've snapped the port piece off it so for the rest of this video now that I've just snapped that port off or the camera mic might be good enough so I'll just see how this audio goes but anyway the fuel cap top piece is out now liners out the washer bottle I've just left resting on top of here for now along with the overflow breather pipe in case you overfill or water gets in here, it drains through this hole and out through the bottom of the chassis. All that's left is, looks of it is a 10 mil there, a 10 mil right at the top up in here. I did already remove one below and then one on the inside of here also. So yeah, not too bad. Fingers crossed that will come out. Disconnected the sensor there for I'm guessing for the flap. So the back edge of the wing is all done. Looks like it's tight along here so i reckon there might be some adhesive or something stuck along the top piece there i have just undone these 19s the back one's completely corroded so now hopefully he says okay that's one way to do it so i am not a fan of this that's a welded thread 
for a nut that is currently up on that bracket there. That tiny little one with a thread exposed right down the back there. I ended up taking off a couple of the nuts for the radiator, one down the bottom there, one up here, and then also taking it off a bracket which held this little control unit and a few connectors in the way. I actually bent the panel back up a little bit, but it then gave me clearance to get onto the stub. So that is the wing off. A little bit of a battle, but I'm glad it's gone. I didn't know there was actually what looks to be a crash sensor mounted to the front corner of the wing as well. So that's handy. I will need to uh, look that up and replace that because that would have definitely been the one to trigger the impact of the airbags, being that the uh, damage was on this right hand side. Progress. So the wing off, now we can see the whole uh, radiator and condenser assembly. Uh, there's not actually too much left holding this on. This is the bracket the uh, studded, threaded stud was going through uh, with that 10 mil I've just been battling. And with that all crushed in, it has bent the bracket slightly. And that is why originally I couldn't get the five mil um, socket through to take the headlight adjuster bar out. So the next task I'm gonna tackle is the wiring harness for the front lights. So I did a bit of internet scrolling and a bit of eBay, anywhere I could find on Google um, and even message a couple of breaker cars but they didn't have this harness available. And the worst thing is, this front loom is about 250 pounds new from Porsche, which is just outrageous. So the wiring is a couple of different gauges, so different thicknesses. I've managed to get a few off cuts. I'm gonna be using the good old trusty soldering iron, soldering in the new connections, and then heat shrinking over the joins. So as you've seen, I'm just cutting out the old bits and installing the new wiring, and then heat shrinking the joins. I've been joined by some fellow friends. Jesus. So that is the wiring complete. As always, wiring does take a lot longer than you first anticipate, but you don't want to be rushing it. So that is the loom done. Little loom tape round the wiring and that's a nice 250 pound saving, banging. Okay, so we're on a roll. I'm gonna try and get the radiator and condenser assembly off the car. So quick observation on the pipes. Now the new bracket has got the connections up to here and these look just like quick release circlips that uh, just lock around the rib section there. However, these bits of the pipe look a little bit crusty. They're not leaking at this moment, and I don't really want to upset by removing them from this side and then possibly damaging the seal, as then I think I'm in for a set of pipes. So I think I'm going to take the hose clamps off on this side.
compared with the coolant now, and there's a lot of it. With the engine being in the back, the hoses run all the way down the car, cross over, and then obviously we've got the radiators on the right and left side, so there's a ton of coolant to replace. And a little side note, I've managed to pick up a second hand bumper, although it is black. Uh, it was the cheapest and best condition, really. So a uh, little trip to the body shop this weekend, and that will be sorted. I'm hoping I've laid the bed out specially for it. Like a glove. Sweet. And a lovely pink wing. So with the wing and the front bumper up at the body shop, I think it's time to start making headway with the interior. So that is the airbag removed from the steering wheel. Here's my new replacement one. I don't have this little sub harness like this. Um, and I have just started to pull this off and yeah. So as it's gone off, huge amount of heat, and it's just melted the contacts. So I need a little new sub harness. So I'm gonna have to get that ordered up. So there's not too much on the internet in regards to how to's to remove this dash. I've got a few pictures that I can use as reference, um, but I'm just gonna start taking it apart basically, see how I go. I know all these vents and bits have to come out. Uh, fingers crossed it goes okay. I'm just gonna leave the glove box hanging down for now. Um, I'm only interested in getting this top half off, this top bit of the dash off. These air vents, I think you've got to slot and depress some clips and pull them out, and they look very fragile. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect at the connector end for each one. And then for the twin cluster up here, there's a connection here I can see. There will be one the other side, I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna try and get away with leaving as much of this lower half in um, as naturally. I'm only replacing this top bit. Here's the airbag module for the passenger in here, bolted up in, so I'll have to tackle that in a little while. And I'm also gonna be replacing a little crash module. I think it's tucked up down in there, where it just says Porsche. So I need to get to that as well scrap that glove box is coming out it's just going to make it a lot easier to get to that crash module in there and just getting my feet in here as well to be honest these little tools are super handy just bought a little set off ebay or amazon one of them he says what i was saying is these little tools are good loads of different angles get a multi-pack I mean, that wasn't very gracious, but yeah, so many of these little pop clips about. So get yourself a set. just spent no joke about 20 minutes trying to get this off to drop this lower piece off and I just I've been struggling I've got a picture which just shows you setting it into a position at home and pulling it out and I'm trying prying in here trying now I'm trying to get my hand on the back to get a loud pressure onto it try and get the switch out and I cannot get it out and then good old YouTube comes along 
put it to there, push it in, move it over, and the whole thing comes out just like that. Porsche, why do it to me? So progress so far, airbag is out, as you've seen. Just got that center console piece out, and oh my God, it's quite intimidating really, but uh, a lot of wires. So almost there, got to get these center ones out, oh, and that far one, um, but I need to get to depress the tangs like uh, on the other one, just up underneath, so I needed this console out anyway. So I believe all the screws are out now for this dash, well, Fingers crossed they are. Um, so I think it's time to just give it a little wiggle and a bit of persuasion. Maybe not. Right, take two on this. I've taken the side trim off. Um, just so it gives me clearance, there's a little locating tang there. I haven't done that side. I'm hoping I can get away with just doing the one. So let's give it a go. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna have to take the other side off. I don't wanna damage these airbag curtain sensors either. So back in a minute. Third time's a charm, here we go. Get out of my pub. my pub! Get out of my pub! The sun is setting, and I finally got that bad boy out. Not actually as bad as I thought. Like I said previously, I've not done anything like this before. Uh, so it's all a learning experience. Um, that stuff looks a bit frightening, but uh, it should be okay going back together. Just take my time putting it back together tomorrow. So I have since removed this left-hand carpet piece just to get up a couple of screws either side of this uh, centre cockpit trim. And then a layer of sound insulation. And then this is the crass module to the airbag system. So nice little easy multi-plug. And then it just looks like a couple of earth and mounting points, one on the left and one over there on the right. And fingers crossed that thing should wiggle its way out. So that is the old airbag module out. Same part number, however, the lower number is different. I guess that's individual to this exact module. Um, the good news is, is that the replacement passenger airbag, the module and the seat belts are all from the same car. So hopefully there isn't any issue with coding or pairing together once this is all back together. So that is the new dash in the car loosely right now, just placed in and mounted up through the top. All the bolt holes are lining up. Definitely would recommend having two people with this. Just to jiggle in, getting the speaker wires up, making sure nothing's trapped as you place it in. And then there's some like securing latches at the top end just to make sure it latches into that and is secure. But yeah, let's start rebuilding. 
So I didn't do too much filming on the rebuild. As you can see at this point, all the air vents are in, the clock cluster is in, all the dash is secure, along with the lower part with the ignition barrel. So that is gonna to conclude today's episode. Thank you ever so much for watching. The dash is back together. A few little bits to sort in here, along with the seat belts, and then can't wait to get the bodywork back from the body shop. Thank you so much for watching this video. Smash those buttons for me, please. Like, comment, and even subscribe. That would be amazing. Take care. See you in the next one.